Hello YouTube, Retro Collectibles here. I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to start maybe doing a section on my bargain find of the week or deal of the week or Neil's deal of the week or Neil's dealio of the week. Something. Anyway, I'm always saying don't sleep on the classifieds, don't sleep on the antique malls, stuff like that. I just got this lot here. And you always get better deals buying lots, uh, buying several at a time. But I just got this lot here for $75 Canadian, okay? Now, there's only two new pieces in the whole lot. You wouldn't be able to tell, but those are actually all vintage. Um, these here, okay, so this I got for $25. And... It was bought locally from a store here, and I believe they're presently in stock. So this is not old at all. Like, you can go down to this store right now. That's how much it costs. I paid 25 bucks. This here I got for my friend. I paid 35 for mine, which was a killer deal because they didn't come to Canada. But I just paid 20 for this for my friend. Not that I'm saying my 35 was a bad deal because I got a buddy deal for that. At the time, they were selling for about 50 So, and then we got this guy. $10 that worked out to be. That is from 2003. Johnny Lightning, the old playing Mantis stuff. Homer Simpson's car. From 2003. 10 bucks. This guy, Partridge Family. 10 bucks. Usually you don't see these for under like 15 or 20, sometimes even more, but Partridge Family was before my time, but I remember watching the odd episode as a kid. That is a cool looking colorful bus. And the deal that's just as good as the slot car, I believe, was I got this for $10. Now he had 30 marked on it. He had 30 marked on it, but I guess he just wanted to dump the stuff, so he dropped uh, the prices. But this is from 2000, and it's mint, and still you can see the original seals on them. Still sealed, and usually these are pretty rough shapes sometimes, but this, man, looks like it just got bought at Walmart today. Look at the detail on these. These are popular for a reason. Still even got the rubber band holding the hood down. Anyway, guys, I just wanted to show you uh, my bargain find of the week or whatever. And uh, don't sleep on the classifieds. Don't overpay. Don't pull the trigger too soon. I'm going to be making videos just on bargain hunting strategies on not overpaying if you don't have to. Do not use eBay unless it's a last resort. Anyway, guys, thanks for watching. Please uh, share, like, and subscribe. And as always, happy hunting.